Welcome back to Baxter's Blades. This is the Tired Tiger. Um, I have a few of the Black and Blue series from Rough Rider. I uh, just wanted to show a few. I know I sound so enthusiastic today. My monotone voice. Um, yeah, my first and only Congress. Right here. Um, the Granddaddy Barlow. The uh, Hunter with the liner lock. And of course, the Hawksbill. Most of you know, these are uh, blue sock cut bone on top of black G10 liners. I'm sorry, the spacers in between the back spring liners and the bone. Um, I was really attracted to the blue bone when this first came out. Very Caribbean look, similar to uh, the case, a little different. Uh, the hawk bill, good for pruning. I really like the shape of this. I haven't used it that much. I do have another hawk bill. Um, they have the Rough Rider bomb shield. Really like this one. Of course, it's got a lanyard hold, so I threw a lanyard on it. See my uh, wax cotton. This blade is pretty decent. It's off to the left of hair. Back springs look really good to me. Uh, the Hunter, it's a pretty big knife. Snow Buck 110. Feels about as heavy as one. I really love the blue. How it varies in that saw cut bone. Of course, all these have the nice uh, Rough Rider stamped on the bolster. This is a pinched front bolster and rear. The Hawk has a pinched front bolster. Uh, the Congress has both. I guess they all do, apparently. This one pulls really good. No half stop. Big blade. Feels good in hand. I really do not like Rough Rider's liner locks. Feels like it's right in the way. I guess I could choke up over it. It's not coming down on me. Kind of gritty closing it. Uh, this back spring when closed is a little up, a little proud. Granted, these are Rough Riders. I mean, this was probably the most expensive one I've bought besides the Ulta series. Uh, back spring's a little proud on closing. Uh, of course, I had to go with the Granddaddy Barlow. Large Barlow. Good for my hand size. Big knife. Um, it's essentially perfect, except well, the back springs look good. When I close it, it's got a nice half stop. See how it, see if I can get it in there. Not closed all the way. Tip stays up. I wonder if that's considered defective. If I can uh, contact Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Other than that, it's pretty good. Just uh, if you put it in a slip or in your pocket, you don't want to stab yourself if it's like that. Big knife, haven't used it that much. More just for the collection. And of course, my one and only Congress got it because it was the black and blue. Like I said, I do love this blue socket bone. It's interesting, the shield doesn't say Rough Rider, just completely blank. Maybe that's the style in the Congress. Four blades. I 
don't see a spay blade. We're close. I don't know, is this considered a spay blade? It's almost like a large pen blade. Another lamb's foot. Another small pen blade. And this would be uh, sheep's foot. Nice snap on these. I really don't use this one that much, but I guess if I had one knife, didn't want to go dull and wanted four blades, this would be it. Uh, now that I got everything messed up here, <clears throat> I guess I could lay them out all open for you to check out. See if I can fit them all in the frame. That's it. Black and Blue series by Rough Rider. Have a good day.